Hello everyone, welcome back to another week. It is currently Wednesday. We are still very much in the midst of our kitchen renovation. I'm down at the bottom end of the kitchen right now, the end by the doors, and the kitchen is that away, which I'm not gonna show you guys because I gave you a sneak peek in the last video. Um, now, you might have changed, uh, might have changed, you might have noticed that I've changed back to our previous vlogging camera, the little Canon GX7 Mark II because we had a few colour issues with the last vlog. I'm really sorry about that guys, I'm sorry if it hurt or strained your eyes. Massive apologies, but something went wrong. So I'm just moving over to this one for this week and then we're gonna figure out all the kinks and stuff that's going wrong with the big beast of the camera. So that's that. Um, plan of agenda for today. So it's an exciting day in terms of kitchen renovation because we finally have the worktops coming in and being fitted and I cannot tell you how excited I am for this because we went to go and choose our slabs over the weekend so we know what's coming and yeah I just feel like at the moment we can still see into all the units and I just I feel like having the worktops on will just make it look mm, and I just can't wait to see how it looks because that was the whole point of the design having this contrast between the dark grey and Oh, I don't want to ruin it. I'm not going to tell you what colour the uh, marble, well it's not marble, but okay, I've already kind of just ruined it and I'm sure you can probably already guess and you already know my taste. So yeah, nice one Emma. So yes, it's all exciting times today. So those guys doing the worktops are due to arrive any time now and Simon and I, in fact Simon's already started, you might already be able to hear the hoover upstairs, but we're going to do a mass house clean because there is dust dust and more dust all over the house and um, we're going away next week and we have people coming to stay in the house and yeah I'm a bit finicky about that kind of stuff I just like everything Ooh, excuse me windy pops it's because I've already had a DC this morning I needed the motivation um so yeah it's uh it's mass house clean day today so with that in mind cue the house cleaning something what was i gonna say so with that in mind roll the house no f what am i trying to say with that in mind roll the with that in mind roll the house cleaning montage you're a rebel getting into trouble you are kind of like a fire like a fire like a fire unpredictable so as you can see i've made my way down to the bathroom um, we've still got all the plants and stuff in the kitchen in here, so I'm going to have to move them down so we can get cleaning. But this literally always happens. Every time we do a couple's clean, look, I'm all the way down here, can't hear any cleaning happening behind me. Excuse me? And the crisps have disappeared. Excuse me? Oh, she's putting a pillowcase on. I can hear you. What are you cleaning me off? That's not cleaning, is it? This is an intricate part of the guest bedroom. The pillow protectors, not a pillow case. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. I've got sweat on my brow from doing so much. This one's on a summer vacation. No, I've just been hung out of the spare window, which is two storeys floors up, cleaning two with the window hoover. So, that's that. Dangerous Dan over there, hanging out the window. Are they clean though? Yeah. Sparkling. Sparkling. You done the, the light switches and the plug sockets? Not yet. Not yet. Having a tea break, see? <sighs> I'm looking pretty dishevelled. <laughs> Very dishevelled indeed. Um, right, we have done the upper floor, so both bedrooms. We've done the second floor, third floor, I don't know, the bathroom. And now we're on to the lounge, which if I just pan round, looks currently like this. I am stood where the sofa normally is. If I just show you from this front door perspective. Um, yes, so we had to move the sofa over there this morning so that the guys could get down to the kitchen with the worktops. So this is the current state of play. We've just got essentially crap everywhere, which is great fun. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be the next room, but Simon's just gone out to walk the dogs and it is my duty to go and get lunch, which is just going to be our usual, sorry, I think we lost focus there, just going to be our usual sandwiches, crisps and fizzy drink, because that's how we've been living, because we still don't have appliances. Hello and good morning everyone. I'm really sorry we didn't finish our 
cleaning montage from Wednesday, was it? Um, but I think I had so much pent up cleaning inside of me, and as did Simon, that we just blitzed everything. We literally just went hardcore with the cleaning. And so we left the camera upstairs and completely forgot we were supposed to be filming. Um, and then we went and had dinner with Simon's sister and his mum in the evening. So apologies for that. Yesterday was Thursday, today's Friday. Uh, just so we all know where we are. Yesterday we had the worktops fitted in the kitchen. Oh, cannot wait to show you that in the kitchen renovation vlog. Looks amazing. So, so happy with it. Um, and today we actually have a no workman day today. So I've got to go off and get a few bits just for the house, some bits to finish off that spare bedroom, which you guys would have seen. Um, and also just a little bit of shopping now that the fridge is plugged in, we can actually get some stuff that we can keep cool properly. So that's plan of action for today. I'm gonna to show you guys my outfit because I realised we haven't really talked about clothes and stuff in a while. So I'm gonna give you the rundown. Right, I haven't got a lot of room here, but I'm gonna try and show you as best I can. Um, and I'm also quite dark, so I hope this is gonna show up. Let's just crank that light up a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna start off with scarf, which is top shop. And actually, before I launch into this, I'll just say, because some of you might have seen my post over on Instagram about all the new ASA um, and CM, whatever it is, guidelines uh, for influencers posting stuff and disclaiming things. I'm just going to do what I used to do before, although granted, I apologise, I didn't always mark what was gifted and not gifted in vlogs, even though I always do in hauls or fashion type of videos. I'm just going to continue to do what I was doing before, which is down in the description box below, I'll mark anything that's been gifted and anything that I've paid for myself will just be listed. If that works? Okay, so scarf is top shop, just a black basic tassel scarf. Biker jacket, oh I've just covered my entire face. Uh, biker jacket, black leather, this is from Jigsaw and I know that a few of you also have this biker jacket and you've been expressing the fact that the belt can come undone. Well I have a little tip for you and I think yes, I have them over here next to my Sainsbury's vouchers. It's these bad boys, so it's like a little Velcro disc. You stick one side on the jacket and one side on the belt and you stick it together. So I put one there, one on the back and one on the other side and it stops the belt from moving. So that's my tip, Velcro sticky things. They're also useful for other bits and bobs around the house. So that's that. Moving on, underneath I've got like a stripey, is that a Breton stripe? Does a Breton stripe have to be navy and white or can it be black and white? If it can be black and white, then this is a Breton Stripe t-shirt. This is ancient, it's like three years old. Got this from H&M, I think. Uh, both necklaces are Cinco. We've got like a little spinner there, bing, and a cross. I can't remember the name of these, but I'll pop them down below. Bag is Cezanne. Thought I'd take a big bag while I'm going out shopping, just in case I need it. Jeans, these are Jamie jeans with an exposed button fly, skinny in like a washed black colour from Topshop. And the boots, these are my faves that I've been wearing a lot recently. These are from the June Black range and they are so, so comfortable. So I've kind of got like a bit of a rock chick vibe going on for my excursion to Sainsbury's and Wilkinson's and wherever else life takes me today. Right, I'm back from my little morning excursion of shopping for home bits and bobs. No clothes or shoes, accessories of any kind because remember I'm on a shopping amnesty this month. I've only got a few days left. <gasps> ah! But I'm gonna try not to go too crazy for the rest of the year. I'm gonna try and be a bit more responsible. Um, now you might notice that I'm in the kitchen. <gasps> That's because me and Simon literally just had a discussion where we realized by the time you're watching this vlog, the kitchen renovation vlog will have already have gone up. So this isn't a spoiler alert, you've already seen it. Oh, if you haven't, I'll pop a little eye button above one of these sides, can never remember where and uh, you can go and catch up and watch and see how this 
amazing space, well, amazing space, it's not an amazing space, but how this has been turned into a nice new kitchen, which in my opinion is amazing. Uh, right, now, why did I pick you guys up? Because I've got some Amazon parcels down here. Da -da -da. Right, so these are my thrilling new purchases. Item number one is essentially a giant storage bin tub thing, which I have very conveniently ordered in a corresponding grey to the kitchen. And it's just an airtight like bin tub thing for doggy food. And it also came with this little scoop and it is marked, you probably won't be able to see it, but it does have markings in here to tell you how much, so we can weigh their food and then we can check how much it is in this little scooper. I'm gonna try and see if I can put a little hook on the side so it can dangle off there. So I'm gonna decant their biscuits into their inner mojo and hopefully they will all fit. And then this, are you coming to see your new purchases? These are for you guys. This I saw obviously on Amazon and it's essentially like a non-slip food thing and this we're going to use for water because before we had tiles in the kitchen, thank you Bumble that was helpful, before we had tiles in the kitchen now we have laminate flooring and the water when it gets on laminate flooring can damage laminate so we wanted to have something so both of these are going to be filled with water but if they dribble and slop it everywhere then it goes in this little silicone trap here so nothing will damage the floor and again corresponding grey with a nice little bone motif. Do you like that Boris? This is for your water sweetheart, you can have two water bowls. Hello, yes. And then this tub is going to go in the dog food cupboard which is over here. Yeah, and they all know what's in there. Yeah, it's your bowls and your dog food, isn't it? Look, there's all your bowls. You've already had your food today though. Bumble literally likes to lick all the packets. Now off you go, giant one. Off you go, bye bye. Right now, oh that's bright. Let's turn you down, there we go. DIY time yeah. and yeah, I've got it to work again in the spare bedroom. I think I showed you guys this in the last vlog, didn't I? I'm out of breath from going up them stairs. That bodes well for the marathon, doesn't it? Uh, so today, on my little spree, I purchased a curtain rail and some curtains. So we're now going to attempt to pop them up there. You're a rebel, getting into trouble. You are kind of like a fire, like a fire, like a fire. Unpredictable, so original. You are never backing down, backing down, backing down. I made a rookie error. Got the pole up these ironed. I haven't got any curtain hooks. So that's the job for tomorrow. <laughs> Another half finished job. Woo! Hello everyone. It is now Saturday. How the time flies. Um, I'm going to wander over here so that I can kind of give you guys a room view of what's currently going on. Here it is. I'm packing. Yes, I am about to do some suitcase packing. Um, so tomorrow, no not tomorrow, the day after, Monday, Simon and I are off on a trip. Uh, it's a press trip, so it's paid for, gifted, whatever you would like to term it as. Um, we don't go on press trips very often, in fact together we've only ever been on one and prior to that I think I've only ever been on two, maybe three further ones. Um, we just prefer to just travel with me and Simon. We just like to go where we like to go when we like to go there. Um, but we were emailed with an opportunity that we didn't want to pass up. So we're off on this trip. I'm not going to tell you where we're going because we're actually going to be doing a vlog for each day of the trip. It's going to be five days long. We're doing a vlog for each day um, and those are going to go up separately. They're probably not going to go up one after the other like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, there might be a day or two days in between each one just to 
space them out a bit to give us a little bit of time um so yeah we're excited about the trip but i'm going to tell you guys when we're actually going in the next vlog because that's going to be kind of day one of traveling um but for now packing so it's basically a vast array of denim t-shirts blazers and knitwear <laughs> which is pretty standard of me really. Um, optimistically I'm taking one pair of vintage Levi shorts. They're probably not going to get worn but we don't know. It might be warm where we're going. I don't know. Uh, t-shirts because I always layer my t-shirts. So I've got my Anina Bing uh, Eagle logo one. Basics, 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 all the basics under there. Um, my sunglasses collection that I'm taking with me, I'm taking four pairs. They're all very, very similar, or these three are. Um, and those are my Ray-Ban rounds that you always see me wearing. One belt over there, an array of jeans, because I live in denim. Uh, one pair of checked trousers, a couple of shirts there. You don't know what's gonna happen in the evening. We might have to have, you know, a safari, <laughs> clearly. Um, and then over here, a couple of blazers, because I don't go anywhere without a blazer. And then over here, we've got some knitwear. Just, you might recognise some of those from Instagram and previous vlogs. Uh, and here I've got my eye mask and these little Velcro uh, sticky things, just in case, because I'm like, you just don't know what's going to happen, you know? Sometimes you might just need a Velcro sticky thing, so I take them for emergencies. Uh, and then over here, obviously got the suitcase there, and I know for five days you guys are probably going to think, Christ Emma, you are packing light, and do you know what? I really am, I'm actually quite proud of myself. And then I've got my travel steamer, this is my travel jewellery pouch, some of you guys might have seen this from my packing video, which if you haven't watched that already, I will put an I button up here. Um, and then I've got a couple of bags here to take with me as well. Um, and then that's what I was going to show you. Sorry, I lost train of thought. Over here, I've started to prep together my travel outfit and my cosies, which I will change into on the plane. My travel bag, my footwear, and then the bits that are going to go in my travel bag. This will be more. And of course, I've got to fit in my cosies in that bag as well, which is why I always think a good black robust leather tote bag is an absolute must. Now I also have this blazer over here which I haven't worn yet. Um, this is from And Other Stories. As you can see it's still got the tags on it. It literally only arrived the other day. I didn't buy this. For those of you who are going, oh my god I thought you had like a dry January, no shopping. I do. I didn't buy this because this is part of a collaboration with And Other Stories. You guys might know already that I work with them on a regular basis. Um, so this is actually part of the collaboration with them. So I'm kind of thinking should I take that with me or should I not? Haven't actually tried it on yet so I'm going to try it on in a second. Um, but I do have another couple of items. Sorry I'm going to have to move around here to the mirror. I've got another couple of items on from And Other Stories which are also part of uh, this month's gifting um, and I, f I feel a bit, I don't know, what is this motif? It's quite sort of Native American isn't it? I feel like I'm out in the, the Wild West or something. I like it though, it's sort of almost got a touch of apres ski to it as well. Um, so this was from And Other Stories, again gifted and part of the paid collaboration which is why you will see the word ad on the screen now. Uh, and these jeans also again part of the same collaboration. A bit weird these jeans in terms of like the wash and I'm, I'm so sorry about this crotch angle that I'm doing. <laughs> Right now I realise this is appealing. Uh, if anyone can see in your window and you're watching us on a TV, that's going to be lols. Um, they've got this sort of weird triangle design and then it's kind of like a grey cream, weird kind of colour wash. Um, either way, I like them. They're cropped, they're a straight leg, they are very high-waisted. Um, and yeah, they're, they're really comfortable. And Other Stories is really um, soft. It's soft, but it's proper denim, uh, so that's why I like them. And you guys know that I rave about their denim all the time. So I thought I'd add a uh, pair of jeans that's a little bit more interesting than like the standard to my collection. Um, so I think I may even take this outfit with me as well, because I've only been wearing this around the house for the day. And all I've been doing is cooking and making a sandwich. So yeah. Right, I have just finished 
doing the majority of my, oh, almost fell down the stairs, my suitcase packing. And now I need to uh, sort out the white balance. There we go. <laughs> um, right, yes, now I need to do my cosmetics. Um, and I can't remember if I told you guys in my catch up video, but one of my goals, sorry, I'm trying to get a better light doesn't seem to be happening. One of my goals for 2019 is by the end of the year, I would like to be cruelty free with my skincare and makeup products. Um, so like over the last year, I would say like I became a little bit more conscious of stuff like that. Simon and I became a little bit more conscious of environmental stuff. And I kind of had to think about it. And, you know, I do really love animals. It would be something that I would like to try and do because last year I feel like I did quite a lot. Um, I cut out a lot of meat. I'm a really finicky eater, so I can't quite live without my chicken nuggets because if I didn't have chicken nuggets, I probably wouldn't eat. Um, so I'm never gonna be a vegan. I'm definitely no angel, but I feel like I could be a little bit better, especially when it comes to vanity and beauty stuff. Um, so I'm gonna try and pack as much cruelty-free products that I already have as possible when I take them away with me so that I can try and use them all a bit more and kind of see how I get on with stuff. But there are a few products which are not cruelty-free that I love and maybe you guys can give me some recommendations if you have any for some cruelty-free alternatives. Right, so I've got some Ren products here. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that I did a paid collaboration with them surrounding this product here. I'd actually never tried Ren before until I tried this product, and I'm so sorry it's not focusing. It really doesn't like it. There we go. Uh, this is the Glow Daily Vitamin C Gel Cream. I've been using it for about three weeks now. Absolutely love it. Um, did a paid collaboration with them because they sent me this, and um, initially I actually said no, and then they sent me this and said, well, try it and then see how you feel. Tried it, loved it. So I was more than happy to do the collaboration with them. Um, and then I said, I obviously told them about my little 2019 uh, resolution, if you will. And they very kindly sent me all of these products. So thank you very much, Ren, because I'm going to enjoy trying these out. And there's actually a few more that I've got on my list. So I'm going to pick those up when we go to the airport in a couple of days. And then, oh my God, are you ready for this, guys? Oh, this is ridiculous. This was so organized before Christmas and now it's just got out of hand. Um, so this is Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. And it's one of the products which I can't seem to function without. And I've got one of these tubes, sorry, tubes? I was gonna say tubs. One of these tubes in probably every single room of the house. It's not cruelty free. So if anyone has a cruelty free alternative for this awesome stuff, let me know. Um, I'm gonna put that back in here, but I've got a feeling it's probably gonna come back out because I use this stuff all the time. Um, and because I don't have a cruelty-free alternative, I'm probably gonna have to take that with me. And then in terms of makeup, I have been using this stuff, which is a brand called Milk. I think it's a new brand because they invited me to the launch, but I just never go to events. Um, so that I've been enjoying. And there's also a blush, which is somewhere. Um, again, these were sent to me and I tried them out. I didn't actually realize they were cruelty free. Lip and cheek thing, it's a stick. It's really nice. So I'm gonna take that. Um, obviously I've got some Charlotte Tilbury here. So I can take that with me. And also this is the concealer that I'm using at the moment, which again is Charlotte Tilbury. That's also cruelty free. I'm just gonna have a little mooch through here, see what I can find that is cruelty free, and then see what I can find that is not, which I just can't live without for now. Okay, I'm all done packing. Um, the only thing I've got left to do is I've done all the beauty products. Oh, sorry, that's bright, isn't it? Done all the beauty products, but I've left them out, so they're gonna need to go in the suitcase, but that won't be until Monday morning. Are you packed? No. Someone down there? You've been making me do those other stuff, so I'm not going to. Oh. Can't get my new t-shirts ready, new shorts. What new t-shirts and shorts? Mm, fit through. And this is worrying. <laughs> 
Um, stay tuned. <laughs> You're all gonna wanna watch the travel vlog now, aren't you? So for now, thank you very much for watching this weekly vlog. We're kind of getting back into the routine of things now. Um, and yeah, I will catch you in the next one for day one of our travels. Toodles!